Hello everyone, welcome back to Terraria Expert Mode. Now today you join me in the Corruption, as we are about to begin breaking open some Shadow Orbs, as well as while building this little thing and just getting ready for the video. Uh, one of the Eater Worlds actually dropped this Ancient Shadow Scale Mail. Has 7 defense, which is actually one more than my current Platinum Scale Mail. So we're going to go ahead and swap that out. Not vanity, swap it. There we go. And uh, let's head down the chasm. Quick, escape the eater of worlds. So we don't have any way of breaking the uh, Evan Stone yet. So we have bombs, uh, which will work just as well. Look at that, two right next to each other. Let's throw our bombs. Make sure not to get hit by our own bombs. Uh, throw one more. Oh, watch out. There we go. Oh, we forgot to bring a hammer. We can make one real quick, though. Having wood on you is always useful in this game. Uh, here we go. Hammer, hammer. There's a hammer. Alright. Shadow orb number one. Uh, musket. Nice. Nice. Uh, extra range damage, always useful. Get out of here, flares. Take that! I attack you with the, your weapon that you were guarding. Alright, now this one's a bit to the side, so we can make a few sticky bombs to get our way there. Alright, that should be... Yeah, there we go. Alright, number zwei. Nice, a vile thorn. That comes really useful. That comes in uh, much use when battling like worm type bosses. Now, breaking a third one will summon the Eater of Worlds, which I don't have much hope for. But I want to break out open one more before we head out from the corruption. So we're gonna see if we can uh, get to it and get the thing before we're uh, destroyed by the giant worm. Let's see. Hopefully we at least can get away. Oh, I don't have much money, so I guess it's fine. All right. Inventory is clear. Wait. All right. It's a shadow orb. Nice. Free light. Oh, boy. I don't have the vile thorn on me. Help. Use all the grenades as I bounce on top of his body. Up oh, there we go. We were taken out. Yeah, I didn't have much hope. But now we have the now that we have the shadow orbs destroyed, we can get some new we can get some new stuff going on in the world. Oh, that's pleasant. All right, never mind. Call off the jungle expedition. We have a. Uh, a boss fight. Thanks, I of Cthulhu. That's much appreciated. Uh, we don't have many potions. We did get some burgers from the the Eater of Worlds, so that would that's going to be useful. Oh, we had a lot of bombs already. I didn't need to buy that many bombs. Do you have any other potions that could be of some use to us? Maybe the gravitation potion, but I doubt it. Might as well bring it. Alright, show yourself, eyeball. I have a platinum bow with your name on it. And a ruthless musket. Alright, here we go. Buff up. And prepare for the worst. Alright, come on. We do have a decent supply of Jester arrows. Hopefully that will be on our side. We also have the Gravitation Potion just in case we need to get out. We are doing quite the number on him already. These Jester arrows are really helping to tear through all of his minions. 
Nice, the gravitation potion helped us avoid him that time. Apparently I had a gills and a uh, water walking potion on me that I didn't realize I had. Nice. Uh oh, we got stuck. Quick, NPCs, come to my aid. Alright, fire! Now this part he's going to try and do a lot more contact damage, which is not fun. I did place down a star in a bottle, so we are getting a bit of mana. Not that we're using mana weapons a lot. Uh oh, we're getting attacked quite a bit. He is over ha halfway down though. Alright, quick, avoid him. Alright. Alright, he's only got 1,500 health left. Took two damage from fall uh, from falling there. That's not good. All right. The only issue with this phase is that it's hard to hit him, and he can hit you a lot. We're doing fairly well though. As long as we keep our distance, we should be fine. I'm just worried about the quantity of arrows we have left at our disposal. He's less, he has less than 1,000 health. Uh-oh, we took a lot of damage from falling there. That's not good. Uh-oh, there goes the angler. Oh, if only that fallen star had hit the boss. All right, we're just gonna throw grenades and hopefully they hit. Alright, there we go! I didn't even expect to do that, but we did it! We also got the relic for being in master mode. Amazing. Looks awesome. We also got a suspicious grinning eye. It looks like it's a pet. Uh, let's equip that, I guess. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. It's just an owl. Look at it. It looks like the, uh, the True Eye Cthulhu light pet that you get from the Moon Lord. And we also got... Uh, some aviators to impersonate one of the streamers. Nice. They look better than the platinum helmet currently, in my opinion, so we're gonna wear them. And the star of the show, the treasure bag. Which gave us some demonite, some unholy arrows, and the shield of Cthulhu, which allows us to d dodge much more efficiently. We're gonna equip that instead of warding or armored. Oh, those both provide quite the deal defense. And the aglet. Oh, we're going to replace the Band of Regen. Nice. Now we can dodge out of the way of bosses. What really helps that boss battle was definitely all of the buffs we had, because we had well-fed, iron skin, regeneration, as well as that gravitation potion actually surprised me and came in, ha uh, in handy a lot. What's good is we can now smelt up the Steamonite and get some new gear. We only got 13 bars, but let's see what we can make with it. We can make uh, a yo-yo, the light, the light bane, war axe of the night, demon bow, and fisher of souls. We are going to make the demon bow, and we can use demonite that we get from other things later to get uh, better stuff. Look at that. Oh, I'm just wasting more by just arrows. Nice. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's Terraria episode. Even though it was short, it was quite eventful. We uh, went and smashed a few shadow orbs. Got the musket, the, 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 the vine thing, I forgot what it's called, and the shadow orb. And then after that, the Eye of Cthulhu surprised us and attempted to attack, but we'd successfully repelled the Eye of Cthulhu, ended up defeating it and getting our first relic of master mode as well as we did it before king slime which is pretty cool anyway thank you for watching and i will see you later